Hello everyone, welcome back and uh, this is Naveen from UI Brands. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss uh, uh, key up events of JavaScript. So last video we discussed about uh, uh, click event, right? So let's see key up event. Actually, I have a plan. The plan is, uh, I tell you here. Uh, I want to make a simple example. What is that is, I want to make a text box. Okay, I just want to create a text box and in the text box i am going to type something okay so i am typing my name okay so my plan is in the text box whatever the name i'm typing the same name i wanted to display exactly below okay so whatever the name i'm typing the same name i want to display as it is if i remove this character i have to remove this character okay so whatever you are typing that has to be displayed here uh, here you have an event okay so what is that event uh, if you enter a character in a text box or any form field as soon as you enter a character it triggers an event so what is that event is key up event the moment you press the key and release it's called key up event okay so when the key up happens I want to get the value and display over here so let's, let's make this example using uh, DOM event listeners again okay but i want to do this logic using bootstrap okay so because still now we are using this normal html and css but i don't want to use it i want to uh, do this thing using a bootstrap okay so let's convert this uh, using bootstrap okay so for bootstrap we need to have a bootstrap setup so let me create a folder bootstrap Okay, so in Bootstrap we need actually the style sheets and JavaScript. So you have to download actually outside. Let me do one thing. I just go to uh, Google. Just type MD Bootstrap. I think you know this, but I'm just showing MD Bootstrap. And uh, here you have to download the MD Bootstrap. Okay, and you have to download this. And uh, you need to have uh, files here. So if you have not sure how to download the files and how to configure bootstrap, so please watch my uh, bootstrap tutorial. There you have, sh there you have seen uh, how to create a bootstrap folder structure. Okay. So I just grabbed them from my previous uh, folder bootstrap training. We have already bootstrap folder. So in that we have CSS and JS folder I want. Okay. Let me go grab them and keep it in the bootstrap folder. yeah so thing is in CSS folder you need these files and JS folder you need these files okay fine uh, so let me create a folder separate folder for this example I mean uh, this this example so what I do is um, I create a separate folder new directory 15 underscore JS underscore um, what event uh, key up events key up event okay enter so here i create one html one css and one javascript so one index dot html and one uh, um, style dot css and one javascript javascript is app.js okay so here we need to connect to the bootstrap so let me delete everything exclamation connect to bootstrap so i write link uh, first you need a font awesome i just grab some global font awesome copy this i will paste it here actually this must not record you can do with normal html and css but i just want to look and feel using bootstrap so we have already crossed the bootstrap uh, technology so i just wanted to show you with bootstrap so link and uh, here i connect to bootstrap no dot, dot slash bootstrap folder slash this folder slash uh boots sorry first uh, font awesome here i want uh, bootstrap font awesome yeah bootstrap dot css mdb dot css and this is um 
style or CSS. Okay, actually, this is nothing. Oh, you have it, right? Okay, fine. Uh, okay, so below this, I want to correct my own style from my folder that is link. So, our style or CSS, style or CSS. And in the last, we had to connect the JavaScript files. So, bootstrap. Uh, JS files, bootstrap JS files. Okay, so uh, uh, I write a script. First, you have to connect to loader slash bootstrap folder slash JS uh, JS folder slash jQuery popper. So jQuery, you need popper, and you need uh, bootstrap, and you need MDB. MDB. Okay. And I want to connect to my okay so local uh, JS file okay these are uh, actual JavaScript programs okay so I want this uh, adverb JS okay these are bootstrap files and this is our actual uh, JavaScript program okay fine uh, setup ready let's make a key up event fine uh, so let me open that refresh key up events yeah uh, before I continue now I will make uh, a navbar okay so with a class called navbar navbar uh, navbar dark and bg dark and here anchor tag href hash I'll give a class call navbar brand let's make a uh, key up event okay so you got key up events fine uh, for next DOM events I want to use the same setup so I just do one thing uh, I will take a backup of this uh, 15 underscore key up okay I'll copy this folder I'll paste it outside because I don't want to do a setup again and again so I just use the same setup for next example so I just uh, copy this folder and keep it outside okay so now let's write the logic uh, so first of all add a comment key up event okay so first let's uh, what you do is you have to okay first I tell you before writing bootstrap you may confuse if write complete bootstrap structure I just tell you normal HTML how it performs uh, without style is nothing and then we'll convert to bootstrap and see okay so first I tell you just write a form okay in the form I'm not writing bootstrap okay just normal uh, form uh, here input type text and some ID uh, let's make a ID ID also just use the name okay and below this I want h2 tag with an ID MSC see here very simple form tag input type text username let's make some margin bottom 3 okay you got it um, yeah here I have form input type equal text username and one h2 tag message uh, nothing is there in the message so my plan is let me zoom if I am typing something that data I want to display here where exactly here like this okay so how this can be happen again so logic is I have to attach an event called key up event for my text box so first you have to get the element first so here the text box I want to apply the key up event so first get the text box how to get the text box you have an ID username so what I do is go here uh, again key up event uh, example so get the elements how let um, text box is equal to so document dot query selector of hash username so you get the text box elements and for the text box what event you are writing key up event so what you do text box dot add event listener of key up comma one function okay so whenever the key up happens then it executes this function okay uh, you want to check 
let's make an alert entered a text okay now check uh, see here here when I enter one character what happened you got an alert when I enter one more character you got alert when I enter one more character you got alert so for every keystroke you do it executes the function because that's called a key up event even you remove again it is key up okay so fine it works uh, but my thing is I don't want alert I want to get the value what you have typed okay so if you want to access any form field uh, data value you want to access the value inside a text box or password box or any select box value you want it how you can do is let's text entered is equal to text box dot value okay so whenever say you text box dot value the text box uh, whatever you have entered that's value will get okay i got a text value okay and this value what you do i want this value to be display below how to display you have already one element called message suppose if i type something manually it display there but i don't want to display this text what is the value you type that i want to attach here it means how to attach a text between the tags using inner text so just get this element inner text my value so what you do is this message i want to add so get that element to let's message elements is equal to so document dot query selector of hash message you got the message element also next what you do message element dot inner text okay is equal to my text entered so whatever text i have entered i have attached to the my message element as a inner text so this text what you entered will be attached to the here so automatically whatever the value changes it updates over here so now check when i'm typing my name it works that's it so this is a key up event okay but i don't want this normal uh, basic setup i want to make it as a bootstrap card or something so and one more thing you can even uh, minimize this logic what is that is message element is equal to this one and message element dot in a text you can do a shortcut actually you can uh, delete this and you can make inner text here only directly okay you don't need this document dot query center of message dot inner text equal to text center okay you can write the same uh, like this it works but uh, anyway first example right so i'll make it as a uh, you know two lines fine so let's convert now this to a bootstrap uh, how to convert I don't need uh, a normal form like this I want uh, bootstrap setup um, so what I do one container one row single call md4 one card okay and in the card I write one card header and card body card header card body let's make card header bg secondary text white i read some h3 uh, key up events okay looks good and uh, here in the card body actually um, okay in the card body i write a form I write a division with a class called form group form group inside I write input type equal to text with a class called form control and uh, so what is the ID you're looking for is username so let's make an ID here username okay next uh, below this I write h2 or h3 the class called card title I want but h3 i have an id right uh, msg so i'll make it id msg find that search now check 
so it works so it is bootstrap setup but thing is id username id message you make h3 h4 whatever okay now what i am typing it is happily displaying there and you want to change the color you can simply say on uh, text secondary so fine so this is actually a key up event of javascript so that's it and in the next video we'll see another uh, events okay so thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you